Eddie from USA. Dear Pastor Chris, God bless you. My question is, what is prayer warfare? Is it shouting when you're praying or declaring and confessing to the enemies that they have no hold of you? None of them. Um, in Ephesians chapter 6, when you read from verse 10 to verse 18, it gives you a clear picture uh, where it tells us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of his world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Then it tells us about the armor of God that we should put on, and all that leads on to praying always, with all prayer and supplication in spirit. Now, um, that is as far as dealing with satanic forces putting on the whole armor of God and dealing with satanic forces. If you notice, it's only one part of it there, and that's verse 18 that talks about prayer. The others tell you how to put the word of God to work in your life. It tells you about your salvation. It tells you about your, your um, life of righteousness. It tells you about your preaching the gospel. And then it tells you about your shield of faith. And then the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And then, um, so, if you notice, all of this will go together to get you ready for putting the devil where he belongs. See? So if there's any warfare, that's all the warfare talks about. Then, of course, in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, when you read from verse 3 to verse 5, he says, though we um, walk in the flesh, that means as human beings, um, in physical bodies, it says, we do not war according to the flesh. Then it says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. There's where it talks about spiritual warfare. And nothing about that is said about prayer or shouting, as important as prayer is. See, it says, pulling down, it says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations. You read the context, it's dealing with um, the, the theories of men that uh, are given against the gospel, the things they say and write to try to discredit the word of God. And uh, we look through the word and then stand our ground in the face of these oppositions. And that's what he's talking about. So it's got nothing to do with um, shouting. So when you say prayer warfare, there is no prayer warfare. See, there is no prayer warfare in the Bible. That's what I'm trying to say. So pray and don't you don't have to have a warfare in prayer.